Poolsgrove, an area with a reputation. Back in 2000, after the murder of schoolgirl Sarah Payne, the neighbourhood was racked by paedophile riots. And it's a notoriety that's proved hard to get rid of. We had um, paedophile marches um, and lots of different things going on every single night for at least a month, which really tore the community apart. Um, some people were actually frightened of even coming outside their doors. The doors were shut, the curtains were drawn, and you could hear them marching around Paulsgrove. We've, we've been through some bad times in Paulsgrove, and we've pulled through, and we're very proud of that. But when you talk about Paulsgrove, they always think, oh, that was the paedophile marches. And it's, it's something that's still there after all those years. Now a new project has been launched to change all that. Organised and part-funded by the Church of England, the Proud to be Paulsgrove scheme aims to rebrand the area and unite its residents around a more positive message. Uh, it's the first time we've done this programme. Um, Paulsgrove is our pilot and we're going to run it in a couple of other communities over the winter and into next summer. And the whole idea is communities like Paulsgrove are often unfairly stigmatised and you know, people have negative views of them and people inside the community sometimes take on those negative views. So if we can start creating a positive story about the community, both outside the community and within the community, that we can start shifting that image of the community and the self-image of people that live in that community. And we think the church has got a big role in playing in doing that because the church is located at the centre of the community, it's been here from the beginning. The plan is in its infancy, but the idea is to get locals to decide what needs doing and what areas should be focused on. Proud to be Paul's Grove is a new initiative that intends to bring together the people of this community to recognise what's good about it and to work together to try and make it a stronger community, to build up the bonds of unity that are here uh, and to collaborate with one another in order to try and make it an even better place to live. It's got a lot of really good things going for it uh, as a community and we want to build on that by listening to what people have to say, uh, by looking at the gaps uh, that people feel are, are there and need to be catered for um, and by working together with volunteers uh, and, and enthusiastic people to try and make those things happen. Going forward, volunteers will help run events and projects under the Proud to be Paul's Grove banner. But the precise nature and objectives of the scheme are very much open to interpretation. My hopes really are that we will involve the community more with us. We don't want them to some rush in and we'll quote God at them all the time, but we'd just like them to be more interested in what we're doing and to be in the community with them more. We need to promote the church, I believe, here. We've got a lovely church here, lovely surroundings, plenty of room, and we'd like, to, like it to be used. We'd like the community to come in to the church to be part of St Michael's. And it's not only new for Paulsgrove. The scheme is a national pilot that, if successful, could be rolled out around the country. We're trialling the Proud to be Paulsgrove materials, the publicity material, the concept of um, engaging people uh, through questionnaires and, and surveys and uh, things like that. And we're trialling methods of bringing potential volunteers together. And what we're going to do at the end of this, sometime in October, is we're going to look back and see what we've achieved, what level of engagement we have with the community, how that has changed perhaps from this time last year. And then it's hoped that with a few tweaks, other, other communities will be given the opportunity to try this as well. But while the scheme is being run by the church, if it's to gain real momentum and make a lasting impact on the Paulsgrove community, it's going to have to reach well beyond this building's four walls. Charlotte Beredney for Solent News Now.